Stuart Rhodes of the Oath Keepers is a human one-eyed trouser snake. Oh, it's so beautiful to see that he has been convicted of seditious conspiracy and will probably spend the next 20 years in federal prison. There's an old saying, patriotism is the virtue of the vicious. And Stuart Rhodes, the Oath Keepers, the Proud Girls, I mean the Proud Boys, uh, the Three Percenters, you guys are all a bunch of traitors. You're not patriots. Just because you call yourself a patriot doesn't mean you're a patriot. You're a bunch of fat dudes that like playing dress up and get boners for guns. I have guns, but I don't, you know, you guys put all your fatigues on and your flag jackets and stuff. And you really look dumb. I'm telling you guys, you know, when I was a kid, I loved to play soldier too. But when you're a grown man and you got a big, huge, fat beer gut and gray whiskers, you don't look cool. Now, I know you may think the girls at Hooters really like you, you know, just like the girls at the strip club. They, they really like you, but they're just acting like they like you to get tips and money, okay? Grow up. So, I think now that Stuart Rhodes has been convicted of seditious conspiracy, I know it only happens when you're in war, but I think we should just line them up against the wall and just, uh, you know what I mean, take them out. But, um, and to all of you uh, militia dudes out there, please, 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 I beg you, try to take on the federal government. Do it. Get some guns, get your buddies, get a couple beers, get some beef jerky, and roll up to a military base and try to do something. I need some entertainment on my days off to watch on the news of you guys being slaughtered so I can laugh. You know, you QAnon believing idiots. The military's the only way. We're waiting for the military. Please try to do something so the military can slaughter you. I would laugh all day long. You're not intimidating. You're stupid. When I see you fat idiots standing out there with your guns, you know, I don't sit there and go, wow, that's an American patriot. I go, that guy needs to get home because I'm sure his blood sugar is low and he probably needs to check it because uh, I don't want to see his fat ass fall out on the ground because we ain't picking him up. Because I know you guys probably all got diabetes and heart disease and uh, cholesterol. That's what I think is so funny. Like Stuart Rhodes thought, we're going to do a civil war. How are you going to do a civil war when you guys need to take your diabetes medication and your heart medication? Do you understand? You got you to quit living in the past. I know you watch Ken Burns' Civil War and it gets you all excited. And you're like, yeah, man. Those were the days. Listen to those letters. They were so eloquent. Well, you guys aren't that eloquent. It's not going to be this movie feeling proud to be an American because you're stupid. That's the problem. You're stupid. You watch too many movies. You grew up in an age where, you know, the movies Rambo and Rocky and Terminator and all those type of movies, it made you feel like you were tough. And you played some video games, Call of Duty, and you thought you were a soldier. And you went down and you bought you some camo and you bought you some stuff and you walked around. I had a friend like that. He was crazy as a, he was a, crazy as a loon. He had all these weapons and flag jackets and helmets and crap. And he used to always tell me all the time, well, there's, I'm stocking up Civil War. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, none of it ever happened. You know what happened? He ended up cheating on his wife with some young girl and... This young girl took him for a couple thousand dollars and then she split on him and went with a guy her own age and then he left his fat old ass just sitting there with nobody. So yeah, that really worked out good for him. But, um, you know, you guys, I love how you say you're patriots and I love, you know, we're patriots. Just because you say it don't mean it. You're a bunch of idiots. You're all a bunch of fat old dudes, like I said, that should just sit at home, drink your beer and, you know, Chew you some beach nut and watch football games. You're never going to live the glory days of the Civil War. You're not going to be uh, Stonewall Jackson. And you're not going to be, my dearest Elizabeth, we were down on 6th Avenue near the Walmart, dug in as the Union troops approached us. 
the smoke and battle was in the air and the Lord God Almighty was on our sides and we triumphant over the Union hordes and then we crossed Oak Street to the 7-Eleven and the battle of the great 7-Eleven war we fought along the gas station and got across the parking lot battled all the way down to the Quiznos and past the subway and it was at the Sonic when the bullet entered my side and as I fell to the ground I thought only of you my dear Elizabeth and then I smelt a corny dog boy I love to get me a corny dog so see you guys are idiots and um, I hope I hope that Stuart Rhodes goes to prison till he dies I really do I hope he dies in prison and I would laugh and please all of you uh, militia dudes continue to do this stuff I think it's awesome I love watching y'all going to prison and I guess Q was right because uh, people are going to prison it's not like you thought uh, I think Stuart Rhodes should go to Guantan Guantanamo he's a freaking terrorist and that'd be awesome and hopefully uh, Gavin McGinnis and the Proud Boys and Alex Jones and all you little bastards Nick Fuentes and all you little homos will go down to Guantanamo and be little butt buddies down there in Guantanamo Bay uh, so it's beautiful keep doing it uh, don't forget your diabetes medicine uh, make sure to go down and get your corny dog and uh, I hope you all ride to hell this is David Zoe Zizzles make sure to like and subscribe